So Frank, spring practice, first one in the book. How'd it feel out there? It felt good. I mean, we had to get back to like, you know, the routine. You know, we ain't get on the field in a minute, but it felt good just to be out there with my brothers, you know, just competing again. Um, you know, coming off a win. So it just felt good to see how everybody was gonna perform today. I know who remember it's uh, called Zach Hill, a mad scientist with all the motions and the shifts and the innovation in the oh, offense. Man, as a wide receiver, what are you seeing out there? I, I like it. I like it a lot. Um they get the defense moving, you mm -hmm. know, and it helps me recognize coverage quicker because if he doing motion and somebody traveling with him, I understand his man is something, and that gives me the opportunity to look at the quarterback like, let's get it, you know? So um, that's what I'm saying. So, like, the motions and stuff is great. Like, I've never been a part of an offense like that. Um, there's a motion almost like every play, so it's like, all right, let's get it. So it's like they out there confused. Once somebody move, oh, we got a matchup. Let's go take them off, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, spring practice sometimes like an interesting part of the year where you have guys that really have played that much in the previous year really really shine I know it's only one practice but Brandon Pierce looked good out there man what fast too <laughs> oh man but yeah I felt like Brandon Brandon been waiting for this you know um he been waiting for this all like from last year when he wasn't getting in so I guess from him not playing last year and being promised to be getting snaps and reps it put an edge it put a chip on his shoulder and it made him come out here this day like he was like one of the happiest ones how's me this morning like let's get it because he knows it's his last year and mm -hmm. I'm looking at him to lead with me you know so what would you say is like the goals of this position group because you guys got more guys coming in the summer like what are you looking to establish at this part of the year we trying to turn this into the wide receiver you, you know. Um, far as like, let's just keep the um, let's just keep the <laughs> let's just keep it going from like the kill Brandon, and then you got me. I just felt like we got the opportunity to keep in the wide receivers first round here, you know. Um, and once we come together and we just stay strong and solid, we gonna probably be the best wide receiver core in the country. Yeah, yeah. And you talk about Nikhil and Brandon, and now you being the senior. Just what expectations are you put on yourself at this point? Oh. My expectation is just always have high confidence, you know, um, push and work harder so my the young cats can see how I push. So once I leave, they already got the mindset to work harder than the other. Um, that's my main goal is just leaving my energy with somebody here so it won't die down. Did, did the coaches communicate with that with you too, that, you know, this is your year? To oh, yeah, yes, yeah, sir, yes, yeah, sir. Um, I'm happy I got moved to X. Now it's time for me to actually show what I could do. You know, we don't have to deal with frustration or aggravation. You know? <laughs> Not getting the ball, but now it's like, all right, let's try to get friends the ball. And I'm happy that I got the opportunity and I'm really just like forward to take advantage of it. Well, where do you feel like you are at with your route running and then transitioning? It's getting level? better. Yeah, it's getting better. Now that I got Coach Hayden, Coach P working on me, and like doing the indies and stuff, uh, it's going to get way better. You know, first I got to just flush all the Coach Likens teaching out of me so I can just freshen up and be ready for Coach P and yeah. Coach Hay getting me right. <laughs> so when it comes to the weight room, is it possible to get more stupid swole? This is peak stupid swole. I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like, I to, no, I'm going to keep getting swole, you know? I'm going to keep getting swole. It's a part of me, you know? I'm trying to play around like 205, running fast, like a 4-4, four -four, you know? Um, but other than that, y'all know I'm going to just stay buffed up. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you mentioned a second ago that uh, you, you're cooking your own food. I mean, no more training table. What, what are you doing? Oh, man. No, I like training table, but sometimes I just felt like it runs through me. And I just felt like I don't get it, you know, because mm. once I eat it here, then take a 30-minute trip home. Mm. I don't mean to say it's okay, but I got to use the bathroom, and I just felt like it's over. So okay. once I go home, <laughs> I, I, like, I stuff myself with the food I make. You know, everybody know I like to cook. <laughs> <laughs> when you talk about leading, like what's some of the stuff you think you really need to uh, prepare yourself to be that leader in 2020? You know, just leading my example mm -hmm. first, you know, like if I feel like if I'm not doing great out in the field, I, I don't have nothing to say, you know. So every day I'm trying to play at my best and make plays and um, have like make that confidence from the coaches and stuff because I still got to perform for, in front of Coach Hill, you mm -hmm. know. So just me making plays every day and then like being vocal and also showing it, it's going to help me in the long run uh, but, but by being a leader for these young cats. When I talked to Prentice about your leadership, he says, you know what, that's great. I want Frank to be a leader, but he, he needs to take care of Frank Darby first. Um, is some, you think it might be hard to balance as this year goes on? 
A little bit, you know, um, because at the end of the day, I'm a team guy. Like, I, I grew, I've come, like, all these years, I was a team person. Like, I wanted to win. Like, I wanted to win. Like, let's come together. So it's like now that when I talk to him and he telling me, like, you are ex now, there's, there's places where you have to be, like, just a little selfish. And I'm not used to that being self, you know. But so it's just something that he going to work with me on. And, and I'm just going to have to just get better and just keep being the leader and also trying to make myself better to make it to the next level. Tell me how you felt the ball and stretch today. <laughs> Jerry nearly <laughs> snuck around. <laughs> Sacrifice. Yeah, right. I'm looking at him the whole time. <laughs> Always, as soon as I start doing this, he's gonna try to come from mine. Like, oh, come on, Jerry. I got you. I got you. Yeah, they was getting me today, but don't worry about it. Not tomorrow. <laughs>